Hello everyone, welcome back to Cuny Creations. This is Shayna. Thank you for joining me again. Welcome to my new subscribers and those of you who have been with me all along, welcome back and thank you. And today we're going to do the second book in my Brer and Nancy series. If you saw my previous video before, um, the last journal I did, and I will link it down below. And that one has been sold now, unfortunately, so it's not available anymore. But that was the first one that I did. And Burr Nancy and his friends, those were those are actually famous West African and Caribbean children's stories that we grew up with. Same as how I also grew up with Little Golden Books. So it is similar to that. The Nancy, of course, is a little trickster spider. He always likes to play pranks on his friends. And in this one here, this is a chunker. It's a Nancy and the Talking Melon. So we're going to go through this. This is a chunker, guys. This is what we call the alligator mouth. You know how you get to embellishing and embellishing and eventually you have to say, just stop. <laughs> this is what happens. So if, if you want, you can remove some of these items. It'll flatten the book a little, or maybe just a little. But I've got this removable charm on the side here. Um, you've got these beautiful ribbons. And I can um, show you. So this is a spine, right, with the charms on it. So that initially started out as like a two and a half inch spine, and then I just kept embellishing, embellishing, and it grew and grew. So now we have an alligator mouth. But I tried to match the ribbons here, you know, with the covers and the colors that I use. It's, it's, going, it's going to be a tropical theme because Bear and Nancy and his gang, they live, you know, in the rainforest. So we got this beautiful green ribbon. Again, you can remove these. I've designed it so that you can remove these ribbons and actually use them. I absolutely love this one. It's got like little sequins in there. This one is kind of like a glitter white. You've got like a gold, golden brown. All right? So they're pretty ribbons, of course. Um, you've got the see-through one. This is a regular brown with stitching at the end. And of course, black, kind of like the zebra. And we've got an orange, because there's a lot of orange in the book. And of course, you have a piece of sari silk. So this is the charm. I'm actually going to go ahead and remove it. Uh oh. Again, you can leave it on. You can remove it. I love the beads that I used here. Oh, look at that. Look at the black one. Gorgeous. And it has a little tassel at the bottom, all handmade. And of course, you got a little tree charm. It looks almost like a eucalyptus tree, which are quite common in the tropics. And then we got this set of beads here. I love this little flat stone one almost. And you know, you've got like the metal beads in here and then the wooden ones. And then the last one are these bad boys here. All right, so we've got this brown earth tone, little animal colors in here. And then the orange, because there's a lot of orange in here. And of course I did a, it's a um, dragonfly or a pond fly, depending on where you live. There are pond flies in the Caribbean. Over here we call them dragonflies. And they're just held together by this little clasp and then this ring that you can, you know, open and remove any one that you wanted to. So again, totally up to you if you want to keep it, use it, you know, put it in something else or just keep leave it on this book here. So we're going to put this aside. And again, so let me go ahead and lose this out. So I have held it together with this little sash. All right, so the book is going to come with that. And again, you may keep the sash or you may want to reuse it. Entirely up to you. Well, let's get in here. So this is the book. It's a behemoth, right? The melon, there's a Nancy elephant. And, you just, and the story is in order, in case you wanted to read it or if you wanted a child of yours to read it, it's in order. We've got our Rick Rack ribbon here, lace trim. We've got this African patterned fabric here because these animals, you know, the story originated in their West African folk tales or children's stories. And there's a Nancy sitting on the bananas. And I've got these metal book ends. And if you look at it from this way, you see what I'm talking about. You've got all these charms and everything. So we will go through them. So yeah, it does lie flat when you open it. I don't want my things to fall down. So again, you've got a cover here, an Ancina Talking Melon, retold by Eric Kimmel, illustrated by Janet Stevens. So here we have the inside cover. So I did this beautiful, this is um, washi tape at the edge. I have this little medallion cover, which I absolutely love. And it is thick, done with Velcro snaps. And I'm hoping you can see all of this. So if you flip open the top, you've got all these little pockets and tuck spots up here. There's Mr. Nancy. 
right? And there are several interpretations and renditions of him. So he's got you've got like a double pocket up here, and then there's another one in here, and here's the melon. I think we I think we call them cantaloupes over here, right? From the same family. This is not actual window pocket here. It's just um, the acetate. If you to enjoy, it looks like water almost. So that flips up, and then you come here. The bottom flips down, and I hope I'm still in frame. Right, so in here I put a little tag, is that adorable, with a sari silk. And then this is a symbol, this is the, the Dinkra, West African a Dinkra symbol for a spider or a Nancy. So wherever you'll see this repeatedly throughout the book, oh, that is his symbol. And this is just like a little flip card or a journal card. I love these little pockets, they have the acetate covers. And then almost like the jungle leaves on the inside here. And you know, of course they're transparent. So I've put these two in here. And then I put a lot of little one in here. And you know, for you to use and do it as you wish. Of course, the jungle is full of bugs. Can't get away from that. And then you've got a little green detail in here, which I absolutely love. On this one here, I've got like a little tag. Love, love, love this. The jungle theme again, right throughout the book. Coffee dyed in the back. And just a little tuck spot in here. And the paper back, this is a, um, I think it's a tiger that they have there. We have um, our Denke drum here. I believe that's what it's called, the dengue drum. And then this flips open this way. Just bear with me. So we have our little tuck spot here. So it's a double tuck spot at the top or at the bottom. This is a journaling card I made with toucan. This toucan here is actually from a napkin. And I'll do a tutorial to show you how I got this. I love how it came out smooth, no, no wrinkles, no tears. And then I just embellished the bottom with lace, a piece of ribbon here. And of course, a flower cutter that I colored. And then, of course, they're stitching around the end. And this is actually a pocket as well. Where's my little pocket thing? So this is a pocket in here too. So you can have some fun with this one. And then here we have more pockets. <laughs> These in front here are pockets. And then this little guy here is a pocket too. So it's one, two, three, it's four pockets. And then the big one, five. We're Nancy again, dancing to some music jungle scene and these are journaling cards of course it look like giant stamps so i'm gonna put these back in here i am going to flip this down so i can turn it um actually no we're not done this flips up so let me put it down here so you can see all right this flips up we've got more pockets and tuck spots here we have more tags in these tuck spots there's one here so we've got a couple of things in there and then in the middle here, we have an acetate pocket. So you can either leave it like that and enjoy the scenery, or you can put stuff in here. So the choice is yours. And I stitched around the edges here. So and that's, I left that open. And then below that, so below that I have another pocket in here. I have this beautiful, it's almost like a mason jar tag. Just a rough rendering of it, but I do love the detail, the banana leaves. The vines and of course the monarch butterfly that are quite common in the Caribbean. And this is coffee dyed at the back. So this goes into the pocket at the back here. All right, and then you've got the pocket in front with acetate if you want to use it. Or just leave the jungle scene. And you've got pockets everywhere. <laughs> so this flips down. This one flips over. And then this flips up and it folds away like that. Boom. So you can have a lot of fun in there. And of course, there's loads of space left for you to put stuff in. So here we get into the story. Like I said, everything is in order. If you wanted to read the story, to see why the melon is talking and why Nancy's driving elephant crazy. I've got a little uh, charm here. It has a cowrie shell and some wooden beads. I know the cowrie shells are popular in Africa. And part of um, African culture and decor. They use it for jewelry and beads and so on. Right, and again, the Nancy symbol. This is actually a tuck spot, a little pocket. We'll have a little coffee dyed card in there. And this we get to our first page. So this turns out like that. And I hope you can see this. This so before we flip this over, I have like a little pumpkin tucked in here in honor of Elephant's Garden. So this is where the story happened. We have more tags in here. Right? Uh, I think this is not a pocket here, too. So I don't have anything in there. Like I said, I left some for you. So we have a pocket in here, we have a pocket in here, you can write here, you can write here. So this swivels in to keep that in place, like that. 
And then here we've got a tag in here. So these are the other animals in the story, right? We got hippo, we've got elephant. This is a giant tag. Um, this is just, I don't have, I have paper in here. I don't know if I want to open it. Um, but it's just like coffee dyed strips of paper in here. And I've tucked it in here so you can use it as you see fit. We've got a little collage going here, a little bit of leatherette, you know, um, stamping, uh, book page, and of course a little piece of fabric, the same fabric that is on the spine. And an elephant, he's sitting in his own collage as well, and then there's another tuck spot up here. And of course, you can write at the back here if you wanted to. So there's a look at that, all jungle themed. I just love the colors, the earth tones, the animals. So this is our first page. Of course, you've got the beautiful background here. I did have another charm here again. This has shells, you know, the brown beads, some are wooden, and then of course the cowrie shell at the bottom. So when you flip it over, you've got a acetate pocket, which I put a napkin, I put a, not a napkin, I doily, a paper doily up here so you can see where the pocket is. And then you've got this beautiful little image. I think it's a piece of like fabric with, you know, African symbols on, on it. And then we've got this jumbo tag, which I left plain because I wanted you to have something to work with. But you've got like, you know, the green back here. It looks like a snake skin. Keeping in theme with all the animals in the jungle. You've got your bug sheet in the back here. And then this slips in here like that. And you can see everything is good. I think a piece of the doily came off from the back. But that's okay. And then we've got another drum here again. Monarch butterfly, so it is a tuck spot. We got a beautiful fabric, and this is the flip side of it. We have our washi tape, jungle themed, of course, and then more another one of these they look like chest of drawers to me, honestly. But these three pockets in here, and there's one in every there's a card in every one, like a, a tag of some sort. Over here, we have this image here in Guyana, which is part of the Caribbean almost. Um, we call these sluice gates or cocos, and they have them there just along the coast by the canals. So whenever the tide is low, they raise the gates so that the water can drain from the canals into the Atlantic. And when the tide is high, they close the gates down so that it doesn't flood the city. So this is a beautiful picture. It's a painting of it. You have a bingo card, journaling card. Of course, coffee dyed paper that I stitched around for you to write on. The same as the backside, banana leaves. It's just so brightly colored. It's also a tuck spot. I just absolutely love those leaves. Here you have, um, I hand embroidered this in the button stitch. Around the edge, you have a fabric po pocket. And just another journaling card in here. And of course, you can further embellish, put whatever you want on or in there. This is the flip side. You see the buttonhole stitch here. And you have a, a journaling tag with toucan on it. And of course, it looks almost like a zebra pocket here, but it's actually palm leaves. And here's Elephant tilling his garden. You got and there's a Nancy watching on. And I've put lace trim on the story pages. And I'm not gonna tell you what the story was about. You're gonna have to read them. You have a little tuck spot here. I love this little cut apart. All right? It says Brer Nancy on here. Music page. We have another melon here, which is also a tuck spot. So this one is actually a belly band. Sorry, so it's a belly band up here. And then it's a pocket below. I made this beautiful journaling card. This is a Kiskadi bird that you see in the Caribbean and in Guyana. Right, he's got little vines at the back. I made a little collage on it with the vines. And this is a um, ribbon. I just love it, like hemp ribbon. And of course, a fabric and journaling at the back. So that's absolutely beautiful. I love how that one came out. And then we have another charm at the bottom here. And I hope you can see these. And then I have an elephant at the bottom of the charm. This is our paper beads. And I kept the, Af the earth tones to go with you know, the theme of the book. This is the flip side of the music paper. These are envelopes. And I've tucked some goodies in here for you in both of them. All right? So you can use them as you see fit. Use the envelopes as you see fit. They have Velcro snaps. So we've got a butterfly here. We've got a dragonfly or a pond flying that one. And again, more goodies in there. And again, I think this is some kind of an it's, it's some kind of, maybe it might be lion here. And then below here, it looks like elephant hide. So we're trying to stay with the theme. I have these lovely envelope pockets here. I don't believe I put anything in here. Like I said, it was starting to get crowded. But let me see, maybe I did. I did. 
All right, just two journaling cards, not bad. A little bit of henna tree and his African fabric print. Not bad. So, that, of course, you've got room to put more stuff in this pocket. And it closes, you know, like this. Wrap it around. Or however you want to do it. There's no rhyme or reason. I just love the colors here that we that I chose in keeping with the tropical theme. This is the flip side of that. So I've got an acetate or a transparent pocket here. I did not put anything in it because, you know, the, the picture behind is beautiful already. But then in this pocket here, I do have another giant tag, which I absolutely love. So we've got the washi tape at the bottom here. It is um, jungle themed. And then we've got a pocket in here. And then just this little side decor, a little bit of sari silk. More of the washi tape with the topper. And of course, you can write on that. So this goes in here. And on this side here, we've got another pocket here. I just love this tag. I have a but I this and I I need to put this into my collection because I superimpose, you know, the banana tree on top of there to keep the tropical theme going. If you can see it. It's got a big bunch of bananas on it. And of course, we've got our, our book pages, author. If you're interested in reading on that, it's there. Another side tuck, sewn in coffee dyed paper. This is actually cardstock. I put another charm here. I just love, love, love those beads. Look at the colors. And of course, you've got a bunch of bananas here, which is actually a tuck spot, I thought. Well, maybe. We've got our friend McCall over here. I kind of stitched this here. It was supposed to symbolize a web, as it were, but there you have it. So we have the macaw on there, and then of course you have a fabric pocket again, and another journaling card in here. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. So you can, you know, do with it as you wish. Here's a Nancy. Looks like he's cut a hole in the melon. We'll see what he's up to. And we have some more charms and beads here. I love these. And there's a butterfly at the bottom of this one. Yep, there he is, going into the melon. All right, I have a squash here to talk spot. Because I don't want to give away the story. More coffee dyed cardstock paper. This is rice paper. And I like how you can see through to the back here. You can also write on it. So it's kind of delicate. And then I have like an old calendar that I put in here with a tuck spot here. Journaling card. It's a double tuck spot. So we have one in front. One on the back. And then we got this beautiful lady on the other side of the calendar. And there's Mr. Nancy. Stuck inside a melon. He looks as though he's eaten most of it. <laughs> right? Trying to get back out now. And of course he can't. So this, like I said, the storyline is in order. There's an elephant in his garden. Looking at his melons. It's a beautiful safari picture. Or savannah picture. Journaling card. Tuck spot. And then I think it's a double tuck spot. Yeah. And this is the back part of that calendar page. And we've got these lovely ladies here. And again, of course, the rice paper. There's only two signatures in this, but I think there are two big signatures. This is the Denke drum. So it's not a tuck spot. I just glued it on there. Of course, writing paper, writing paper. On the flip side, I have this paper clip. It's an embellished paper clip. Absolutely love that. You have the vine running up here. I love the background paper. You can write on here if you wanted to, or you can clip stuff with it. So I've stuck it in here, but of course, you can move it. If you want to put it somewhere else in the journal. And there's the other side elephant. He's grabbed the melon and look who's in it there. And of course the melon said something to him, I guess, and he's jumped up into the air. So here we have another tuck spot. There's this, and we so a Nancy stories, we call them Nancy stories for short. But all the Brer Nancy, Brer Elephant, Brer Tiger, and Brer means brother. So that's how you know they address each other. And we've got a tag here, banana tree as well. And I did, I hand embroidered this, the fly stitch. And this is the back side of it. And we've got a tag here. And of course, more right in the paper. I left some of the thread in here. And on the flip side, we've got a tuck spot in the corner. I just love how that came out. I'm going to open this here. So this is an envelope. And I think inside... Oh, this is what I... Okay, yep. Yeah. So I did a... Oh, it's just a booklet. Okay. So we've got more, for more space for you to write on if you so desire. And then you just um, wrap it back. I think I might do this later so I don't take up time. But that's basically how I did it. 
Well, we're almost there, so I might as well finish it now, right? Well, that's how I put it together. And you just form the old fashioned bow. They call it used to tie newspapers together, right? I believe I'm doing this. Alright, so there we go, and I just tucked it up there. Here we got a picture of the elephant. Of course, elephant is central to the story, but this is a tuck spot. And we've got more um, book pages here. I think this is like an old encyclopedia like from the 1980s, which you know is probably outdated by now. So no harm done. We got Tiger. We tucked him away in here. So there's one here. There's another tuck spot or pocket at the top here. And then, of course, the tag is in one here. So it's basically three pockets here. And then you can write up here if you want. I didn't make that a flip. This is a belly band that I made using a piece of crochet material. So I kind of stuck this in here just for demonstration to show. But it is another journaling card. You can put more stuff in there. There's lots of room. I love this light. You can even journal on here too. There's no rules, people. And this is the back side of that envelope pocket. So I just went ahead and made it a double envelope pocket on both sides. I just love the jungle themed paper. I don't know that I have anything in here. We've got the washi tape. So this one I left empty. But that's, this looks like a giant envelope. And of course you close it back this way. Right, and then you can... But it's pretty secure when you start to put stuff in there. Music sheet, I have like a lace pocket here. For you to add more items if you wanted to. This is the other side of the music sheet. I have a belly band. These are paper beads and they move. So I have three of those there. This is the giant tag again. This is the full leatherette. I just love this piece of this strip of leatherette here. It has the two brads and of course writing space in the back. So I tucked this one in here. And there's Elephant. He's listening for something. I guess it's talking to him. Now he's running with it. This is the other side of that buttonholed uh, embroidered sheet I have. More tuck spots. Isn't that pretty? I just love how that came out. And then the flip side of it, I have a side tuck here. This is a journaling card. It has like a traditional Guyanese house. If you look closely, you'll see it back there on its pillars or posts. I just tuck that in here. I love the vibrant colors. And of course, we have to have a melon tuck spot or a cantaloupe tuck spot. Coffee dyed. More tuck spots here. Washi tape. And then this is the fabric. I kind of rippled the fabric and stitched it in. We have the Jenke drums. And of course, it's a tuck spot. And this is a little Clipso man, and I think it's a pocket, it is. <laughs> and then this is just like a little booklet. Oh, how many tiny things can you stick into these journals? But that's like a kind of a belly band. We've got Rhino, who is also in the story. This is a giant pocket with a giant tag. And I've stamped it here with the elephant. If you look closely, you'll see the elephant in there. And of course, we've got our little booklet. There's a Rhino stamp. Jungle theme again, it's a little bit of lace. And of course, it's just a flip through with some coffee paper. Got a little coconuts in there. And this is a flip, a little book, a little mini journal. And up here, I put two tags, just a little fold for you to use, right? So I did leave some items for you to do. We've got like the fabric topper here. So this goes in here, nice and snug. And of course, we've got another charm here. And the bottom here is an elephant. Look at that. <laughs> I love that one. On the flip side of it, I love this pocket. We have our monarch butterfly again. And I believe it's a tuck spot, it is. And then so there's a double pocket. It's one, two pockets, right? In the first one, I have a giant tag in here. So this, you can put the you can put your stuff in this way, or you can put it in, in the green, that way. So you can either, so it's two pockets more or less, if you can get it moving. So you can put it down in the back here, or you can just put it in the front. It's up to you. Of course, you've got like the tiger-themed paper with a topper. And in the back here, it's more journaling space. And that goes in the front pocket. And then the back one, it's more of like the zebra print with the black and white. You've got like a little um, tag here. Coffee dyed. And then they have the topper here with this ribbon. And then the flip side. So there's room for you to write on it. There's room for you to add more items. Here we got Hippo. Just chilling, I guess. Elephant has come to tell her something. Tuck spot here with a banana tree. The lace detail at the edge of the pages. So there's Hippo examining the melon. Want to figure out why it's talking. 
this is the end of the first signature. I left some space in here so you know you can open them. So they're having a little conversation there on this talking melon. I love the illustrations. That's why I left these pages blank. I didn't put anything over all the pages with illustrations and the storyline. I just left them as they were because I think they're pretty that way. And we have the fly stitch here again, which I hand embroidered. And then I have a paper clip. This is an embellished paper clip, so the paper clip is under here. But I just love this here. It gives you the idea of the same jungle theme um, with this ribbon here. And you've got your lace. And then the clip is in between there. And then you just slip it on. So you, I've got this little pocket in the front here for this one here. Or maybe it's not a pocket. It is a, it is, it is a pocket, yeah. And then in the back here, I just had it holding a little postcard. And I do have a digital of this on Etsy. It's called Brer Nancy and Friends, and you can find it there. you find this digital postcard there, along with some of the other digitals that I have in here that I created. So I'm going to put the paper clip back on so you can see how it works. And it holds it there pretty snug. You have another giant pocket here. Ooh, look at the little pirate peeking out. Music sheet. And then I have this tag here. I just love this one. I know I said it with all my tags, but... I put this together here, so the vine, of course, represents the jungle they're living in. You've got a little pirate here, and it's just a collage. You have the book page, you have this little vine-looking um, ribbon, which I absolutely love. And, of course, the African fabric topper, and it is coffee-dyed, so you can write on it as you see you wish, as you see fit. I'm going to go ahead and tuck this back in here, and we carry on. Oh, I have another charm here, so if you can see that. A leaf charm at the bottom with all these beads and again keeping the color in a color scheme so I have this page here so this um, is an envelope that flips this way it has a velcro snap and then I have more writing paper in here for you so these are just individual leaves right for you to play with and you know do it as you see fit you can write little notes or you can put them together and make a book and again this is like the cheetah or yeah leopard skin looking at there it is a side tuck I have another journey card here I love how they made the collage of the leaves and it's brown now instead of the regular green I just love how they did that and that goes in there of course you have another cantaloupe side tuck and a paper clip this is a mini paper clip this time and then I have a doily here I have backed it with acetate just to reinforce it you have the monarch butterfly here and it is a tuck spot. And of course you've got this. This is a collage of all the papers that I use in here. I just had the strips. And this is a good way to reuse your strips. You can make them into, jun into journaling cards. So this goes in here. Like I said, it's acetate back so it won't tear. I've got a pocket up here. Inside this page here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. This is actually a little tuck, stop, tuck spot pocket here. You got all the jungle theme, all the animal pelts, you know, their design of the, their skins. This is the Kiskadi bird again, monarch butterfly. And I just love, I um, used my Tim Holtz Distress inks and did this here together. I just love how that came out. It looks like the sun setting, right? Well, you've got like a little lace topper. And of course, the back is plain for you to journal. So I'm going to go slip this back in between here. I love this paper here, so we're going to flip it over. I have yet another charm. It has a dragonfly or a pond fly in there. This one is a bold tiger print paper. We've got us another tag. I think there are four of these total because the napkin comes with four. You know when you open them, they have like four sides. So that's what happened with this, and I just decided to use them all. So this is, I use, I use the decoupage method to get it on here. Well, the bingo card is separate, but yeah. So this is what, so this is it here. And I'll probably do a tutorial to show I get it so smooth where it doesn't tear. So we got that there. We already, already did that tag. You have another Denke drum with a stitcher. You got an elephant here. Warthog. So I guess they got over to Warthog now. I know it says Chapel Public Library, but this was a discontinued book. It was also stamped somewhere else where it was discarded from the library. So I didn't take it from the library. Another charm. This might be the same charm. Yep, it is. With the pond fly or the dragonfly. And there's Warthog examining. I have more paper here. You can actually write inside the border or outside of it. Oh, I love this. Look how bold this is. 
I made a belly band and of course a journaling card to tuck in here, but there's more room for you to tuck other things and do something contrasting like this so it'll show up against the background. There's a little side pocket here. I put another little junk card, journaling card in here. So we're gonna go ahead and put that back in. And then this is the flip side. So we've got one, two, three pockets. So in the first one, I've got, you know, these two little note cards here and a tag. We've got a coconut here, of course. This is another journaling tag in here. And then again, I did another one of these collages. Like I said, all your scraps from your leftover papers, because you've seen these papers throughout. This is a good way to use them up. So I have that one in there. And then, of course, I have another giant tag in here. Gorgeous. Tropical birds are just so pretty. Again, we have the vines, we have the ribbon here. It kind of looks like vines and trees as well. They have the book page in the back, a little bit of gold, and of course, a piece of this African fabric. Beautiful journaling tag. Let's go ahead and stick this back in here. Oh, oh come on, come on. You're almost there. Let's go. Careful. All right, so that's back in there. Of course, we got a monarch butterfly, and I believe this is a tough spot. It is. And of course, more of this old encyclopedia, but it has some beautiful images in it, even though it was discarded. So you have a, you have a, you have a bunch, bunch of owls here, right? Great horned owl, elf owl, barn owl, goes through all the owls. Just for your reading content if you wanted to read. And again, everybody now, they're taking the melon somewhere because they can't figure out why it's talking. We have the lace detail. And again, the illustrations, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Love them. I did not want to cover them up. Tuck spot here, of course, you got a famous banana trees. This is one of my digitals. And I have this hand embroidery edge here that I did. And of course, there's a charm here with a leaf on it at the bottom. On the other side, you have a side tuck. Again, the banana leaf growing in a pot. We have the Anansi symbol again. This is the Adinkra symbol for Anansi. It is a side tuck. Journaling space for writing. We have another, and this might be the final Toucan um, Giant Tag or Journaling card. I think this is the fourth one. There's a pocket in here, of course. It's a beautiful image, though. But these are napkins that I used. I've got this little one here. So these two are pockets. So you can get something in there. And then you've got the acertate pocket in the back. And I have a giant tag in there. Another gorgeous tag. This is brown packaging paper. And these are, you know, like scrapbook papers. Of course, you got the vines again. You got the little die cut here, the macaw. And of course, the tag is just giant leaves, which is fitting, right? And you can write to the back on it. So this goes into this acetate pocket behind here. And then we have another charm. So you've got another color. Beads. Some of the beads have like the animal colors, like they're either stripes or leopard spots or something like that. I have another tuck spot here. I just love this little journaling tab. Monarch butterfly again. Here's Mr. Nancy. We have another journaling tag with a lace top trimmer. These are the negatives I use from some of the tags that I cut out earlier. Of course, they're all coffee dyed. And again, I did the buttonhole stitch around the edge here by hand. We have another drum, dengue drum. Um, belly band actually is what it is. And then this just opens up for you to play with. So it's partially decorated. Yeah, I thought I thought to make a belly band out of them would be a great idea. But these are traditional African denke drums. Here's Warthog again. I have a little tag here. This is a tuck spot. You have more lace detail. I realized I had so many things in this book. No wonder it's so big. I think I just stuck that down there with a butterfly. So they've presented the melon to the king. Again, I said I wasn't going to say the story, but I guess he's trying to figure out now why it's talking. So we have more embellishments here. We have the cantaloupe or the melon, as they call it. Another Benke drum. I love this little tuck spot. This is the back part of that thing with the, um, the buttonhole, a hand embroidered stitch. I have another pocket over here with... Oh, so here again, I use the scraps again. You see? So you have the lace trim. You have this little jungle looking ribbon. And then here are the different, you've seen all of these papers as I go through the book. So a good way to use your scraps up again, guys. I'm going to carefully put this in here. 
And over here I have a side tuck. We have a giraffe and deep in the jungle. Love that paper. And then here we have another journaling card. A little macaw in there. Love it. So brightly colored. All right, these are all negative from the die cuts that I use. I've done this, use this again. A little bit of sari silk. And of course, you can write to the back here. And I think I've got a charm up here. This is a long one. So I've got more of the paper beads. This, you see this one looks like the zebra. And I love this little flat bead here, the copper tones. So that's another one of the, the charms that I did. This is the flip side. So I've got an envelope here with a Velcro snap. I put a few goodies in here for you. Well, it's just the one, a journaling card, a mini journaling card. But again, there's room in there for you to put your stuff. You have little journaling spaces here. This is a side tuck as well. And then this one's a top tuck. So if you want to see those, I just love those. So this is a good way to use your negatives as well. So they can always form something. So there's no need, no need to throw things out. Not a banana leaf tuck. Very tropical. I have the stitch. These are cards. This is cardstock. Coffee dyed cardstock. I do have another one of the sluice gates here. Another one of the Bear Nancy journaling cards. This is another paper clip. I have this in here in case you wanted to use it. I'm not going to take this one off, but this is like a pheasant on here. Embroidered edges. And this is the back part, and there's the pheasant again. But it is a paper clip. It's a hidden paper clip that you can slide in and out. And then here is Monkey talking back to the melon. It must be fun. I have a little tuck spot here. I just love this. It's plain, but it's pretty. And it's room for you to do stuff. And I love this little pocket here. And again, more of the encyclopedia page. I left it open in case you wanted to read. I got oxygen cycle and oysters. Love this pocket here. Acertate pocket is plain. I stitched around the edge, and then this is actually the tag. So here we have the macaw again. We have the vine. This is not a piece of ribbon, even though it just looks like it, uh, it looks like lattice almost, right? I just love it. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby a long time ago, years ago. But it's a pocket. But, you know, you've got the book page back. You've got a topper. Of course, the back is open. But when you slide it in here, this is plain. Because it's an acetate pocket, you can actually see it frames the parrot. Gorgeous. And then we've got some side pockets here. This is one, two. I think this is the third one up here. No, so it's just a two. But again, the jungle theme paper, we've got the fabric, the lace edges, and it is sewn down. This is the flip side of it. This is just a two-tiered pocket. So we've got these giant, like, stamp-looking journaling cards for you, for you to play with. And again, another one of these. I didn't want to throw my scraps out, so I found a way to use them. So it's a pocket at the back, and then we've got the one in front. In front. And then you've got this little detail here, of course. More paper for you to write on, and I frame it in case you want to put it right in the frame. This is Monkey. I guess he's tossing the melon. Not sure what he's doing. And there's Burr and Nancy emerging. And then I have another um, tag here. This is, is the same. This is the Kiskadi again. Looks a little different now because I did it in a different light. And that's a Kiskadi bird. Another hidden paper clip. And here's a full picture of the coca or the sluice gate. And a beautiful sunset at the back. It's a giant stamp. Look at this. You love all the earth tones, all the golds and the browns. They're so tropical. These are double pockets, journaling cards. You've got the banana. A bunch of bananas there. And then we've got the fabric here. And of course, you've got another pocket here. And this one, this tag, you know, swivels in and out. So if you wanted to write on it, you could. I use a little bit of sari silk to secure it. You can remove it. And then, of course, you have a pocket in here. It's a little different. Well, actually, I'll just leave it out a little. I just love how this came together. And then we have the flip side. So this is the flip side of the doily. It has the acetate backing, so it won't tear. Monarch butterfly. And then we've got, you know, two cards in here. And again, this is part of my digital collection, and I will list it below. 
in case you want to just purchase that and use it. We got Hippo here on a coffee dyed cardstock. Another paper clip. And there's a Nancy again. And I just left, I, this, is, this is the Rhino. I didn't do anything with this, I left this for you to use. Music sheet. This is the flip side. So this is the original spine of the book. I, I didn't want to throw it out, so I found a way to just incorporate it in here. This is a Nancy and a Talking Melon. Oh, we had one more Toucan. Napkin, okay. This is the melon with Toucan. You can write on here, you can write to the back. And then I just have the plain card coffee table, uh, coffee stained cardstock for you to use and do it as you wish. Here we have the squash again, not a tuck spot with a banana tree, hand embroidered, fly stitch. And then I've also added another journaling card here. This says approved pineapple. Love that fruit. And of course, this is a Nancy. I guess he's moved on to the bananas now. Driving elephant crazy. And this is the back. Here's my stamp, Cuny Creations. And then last but not least, I just have another little surprise at the back. I made these from envelopes. So you've got the window here. There's two pin peeking out. All right. This is covered here. You can open it. So this swivels out. Writing space here. Um, washi tape. So this swivels out that way. There's a toucan you were seeing through the window. And then this flips down. So it's plenty of space to write on. Right? Plenty of things to play with. And then you swivel it back up and it closes. And then in the middle here, I have another, just a tuck spot in front here with two tags. Which don't want to come out. I love this paper here. I think this flips open. More journaling space. We have another one of those pockets that I had previously. This doesn't open the bottom here, it's just for you to it's just pretty for you to view. Sewn around the edges. I have another um, pocket here with Macaw and Company. Some little journaling tags in there. This flips open, and then there's another pocket behind here where I have this tag in here. And then I have a oh, I don't know if you can see that. So this came out from in here, and then there's another pocket up here. So I'm gonna put this back in here, it flips close. We have this pocket here, and I thought, okay, this flips open this way. All right, so this opens up this way. So we have another pocket here, the elephant card. And of course, I just put some more of these in here for you to work and play with. And then this here, I left it open. You can add whatever you want on it. This is a blank slate for you to work with, even all of here and here. And then this flips up. And then there's writing space here. And then there's like a tuck spot in here, All right? So plenty of hidden pockets, tuck spots, places to journal. It closes this way, closes this way. And then you just tie it with the brown. And guys, that is it. I know it's a bit of a long journal, but it was just so much to go through. You know, thank you for staying till the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's what keeps my channel going. And, you know, this will be in my Etsy shop as well. Um, you know, like I said, the last one was sold. So this is the second one in the series. I think I may have like two more that I'm probably going to try to do. But it's going to be in my Etsy shop available in there for anyone who would like to purchase it. I enjoyed making this, as you can tell. I might have gone a little bit overboard, but you know how that is. But again, a lot of the things you can remove if you don't want them in there. So that's fine. I would not be offended. So this is what it looks like. Again, from the side, I told you it's an alligator mouth. It does close in. And I have the sash there tied to wrong. And then you have the optional, you know, the charm on the cover here to use. So all the colors go. So don't forget you can find me on Pinterest, Instagram. I have my website, punycreations.com. Of course, Etsy, and just please subscribe to the channel here if you like this video and you want to see more. I'm going to try and get some tutorials up showing how I made some of the stuff in these journals. But again, guys, thank you, you know, for tuning in again. And until next time, have a blessed day. Bye.